Hello everyone, Alex RC Freak here coming at you with another video. This is a video on tools. So for example, let's just say you just got started in the hobby, your very first actual hobby grade vehicle. So um, you're going to need to do preventative maintenance, possibly repairs if you break something, if you're not used to how it drives, you crash into something, stuff like that. So this is just going to be a video. It may be long, it may be quick, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, just kind of in my toolbox, what I use, what I do to repair my RC vehicles and maintain them properly so they're actually perfectly maintained as much as I possibly can. So um, I'm just going to kind of show you, give you guys kind of, we're going to go through it step by step, see what I got. So anyway, first off, I'd recommend getting a long 6.17 millimeter uh, socket. This is a chrome socket. This is six point. So the inside here. Uh, there's six, you know, points. It's not a 12 point because 12 point sockets suck. Um, they're good for some things if you actually do need them, but this is a six point socket. So hopefully you can see that in the camera there. And then I got this little ratchet wrench. You can get them at an auto parts store, O'Reilly's, uh, North 40 Outfitters. Um, they work really nice. They have a quarter inch on this side, so you can stick an eight millimeter long socket or, you know, you got three eighths on this side, so you can stick the 17, three, uh, you know, 17 millimeter socket, long, short, whatever you like. I like long sockets just because, I don't know, short sockets are kind of a pain sometimes and you have to have an extension. But I love this one because it flexes. I never use the flex anyway, but that one time you do need it, I'm sure it'd be very helpful. So anyway, set that aside. So next is Loctite. First and foremost, the thing you should get is Loctite, a good quality Loctite. So, um, this is Permtex, so gel Loctite. Let's see if I can get you a better view in there. Sorry if my hand's in the way. But, uh, hold on. Let's see if I can get you. I don't know how well you can see that. But, yeah, this is Permtex, gel Loctite. I really like this stuff. It works good. It's in a tube. It's actually one of my favorite. Um, I personally prefer the gel Loctite. I feel that it actually works better. Now I'd recommend getting blue. Um, for grub screws on, for example, fist scale motors, if you're a first time fist scaler, um, sized vehicle, RC, hobby grade one, I'd recommend getting red Loctite if it's electric for the grub screw on the pinion gear. So, or this, you know, so, or for like, you know, if the spur gear, possibly has a grub screw on it or for any grub screw for you know drive cups stuff like that i'd recommend using red on a vehicle that size now everything else i'd really recommend using blue and only do it into metal like aluminum to aluminum or steel to steel or whatever like that metal only use this you don't need to use it on plastic okay so the next thing i recommend is some good body reamer this is a body reamer right here. It's cone shaped. Um, this is a Duratrax brand. I love it. They worked awesome. I had them for years. And there's some scissors. Now, see how these are slightly curved? They have a slight curve to them. Just very slight. It makes it very easy if you like. If you're if you're the person that you got your first hobby grade RC car and you're like, I love this hobby. I'm addicted. I'd recommend getting these because eventually down the road. You're going to want to do your body and make it your own. That's the beauty of this hobby. Everyone has their own opinions about it. And everyone can make it their own to their unique styling, which I think is amazing. You know what I mean? So I recommend getting that. Um, also recommend getting a... This is a 5.5 millimeter hand wrench. has a 5.5 millimeter, 6 point, you know, kind of thing. Uh, where is it? Size at? 5.5 millimeter right there. 5.5. So, but yeah, it works good. I mean, it, I had a dog eat the end of this, so the end of it's gone. But it has a little thing where usually it'll roll on your hand right there. Works really well. So, next is a flathead screwdriver. Just normal screwdriver, flathead. So, you know, I like to get one, I don't know, I'd say it's about five inches long. On this part from here to here is about five inches maybe, give or take. But yeah, you know, it's a little bit worn out right here. I use it quite a bit actually. It works good for popping out bearings and stuff like that. Next is some spray bottle right here. This is a spray bottle. Now this is filled this much of actual glass cleaner concentrate and the rest is filled with water. So um, I really, I got this from Walmart for like two bucks. 
and glass cleaner is like five bucks or whatever. You can get it in a big tube and you dilute it yourself is what I do. And this is a must have along with the toothbrush. Now this toothbrush is a little old and uh, you get them at the dollar store is what I do. I just get a package of them at the dollar store and you know, I'll replace them when they get bad. This one's about ready to be replaced. Um, but yeah, get a toothbrush like this. Now I recommend one with bristles like this. You know, see how it has a lot of plastic right here? It's not really, really thin right here to where it flexes a lot. It can still flex, but it's pretty fairly thick right here. So um, just keep that in mind. That that's I, I like the toothbrush just to make sure that you keep your vehicles absolutely clean as possible. And then next is a little pick. So this is a pick for when you get dirt in a screw head. You can pick it out, and that way you can get an Allen in the screw head and you know get out here let's see if i can show you here okay so so here's an allen for example you get dirt let's say dirt gets filled in here you're racing at the track right so dirt gets filled in there and you need to pick it out you just use this and go like this inside here just go like that go like that and you just clean it out so that's what i do and it works for me never had any problem um next is wire cutters so wire cutters i recommend getting them some side cutters whatever you want to call them i call these wire cutters so you can cut zip ties so they work really nice make sure they're sharp i got these at harbor freight 99 cents i think they work good make sure you test to make sure it works so some of the ones at harbor freight if you go there if you have it in your area this part is really stiff and it doesn't move freely like see how that drops i don't have to like force it to drop it drops on its own so just make sure you test it in the store and it works properly for you also from harbor freight some nail nose pliers see how easy those move that's what you want you don't want them tight i've had them where they're tight where you have to like push them out and then push them in i think i like them free moving and working properly um work really nice for shock shafts you know you put some rubber tubing over here cramp the shock shaft and it works very nice and you got side cutters right there too if you were needing those um also some rc vehicles depending on the brand you need a phillips screwdriver so this is number two Phillips screwdriver. So just so you know, there's the Phillips right there. So that's the handle. This is just kind of what I use. It's number two Phillips screwdriver. So, oh, it's upside down. But yeah, number two. Next is, this is made by Team Associated. This is a combination wrench. This came with a Team Associated Munster GT or MGT 8.0 or um, pretty much any uh, team associated vehicle. I'm not gonna say every single team associated vehicle, but most any of the newer ones have this. I really love this tool. This is a 5.5 millimeter right in here. This is a seven millimeter right here. So you can just spur your tension. Um, it got these nice wings on it. So you can grab it and really get some leverage. And this is an eight millimeter. I love this wrench. This is literally probably one of my most favorite ready to run rc tools i've ever got ever literally i love this tool i have like two of them i love them so next is an allen see now just keep in mind now notice the handle size on this okay notice this handle size now notice this handle size so see how this one's a lot smaller and this one's a lot bigger so when you have your hand and this see how short this is see how long this is so you get more reach to reach in that, you know, Allen head versus this one's really short. But this works out good for like uh, A-arms, upper and lower, for pushing out the pins. You just stick this through the hole and push out the pin and it works very nice. So that leads me to my next tool that you must have. Now these are Team MTG. Now let's see if I can get this on camera here. All right. So this is, uh, this is the tool kit right here. So this is the Allen set. I absolutely love this Allen set. Now, keep in mind, this is a 3.0 Allen. This does not come in every single Allen set Team Integi makes, or Enchigi. I like to call it Enchigi. I don't know why. That's just what I do. So anyway, this 3.0 millimeter metric, hardened steel, long shafts as well, like, and a nice big handle to grab onto so you can get some leverage. I just, I really love these. I use them every single time I perform any maintenance on any RC vehicle of mine or my buddies or whatever. If they are out in the field and I'm helping them out, you know, I, I just love them. They work awesome. So they have some smaller ones of these that have these small handle 
and they just they're a pain to grab onto they're even smaller than this and they're just like trying to grab onto a pencil almost so uh, i don't i do not like it so anyway that is the best tool to buy right there spend your money on it my recommendation for sure is definitely get an allen set a good allen set you know what i mean so that way you know that you're not having a cheap allen you know l shape you know allen you know these are just better they have a handle they work better the t allens don't i've tried them they suck i uh, don't use any junky ass allens from harbor freight because they're garbage uh you know you gotta kind of pick and choose so you know i'm just saying these are awesome so anyway next is a hyper tough drill this does not have a clutch on it be extremely careful if you're going to use this to tighten into plastic, so plastic on plastic and you're tightening a screw, seriously, use extreme caution. Because if you get, you can strip stuff out. That's why I don't really like using these. I don't. But I got tendonitis in my right wrist really bad So um, from doing auto body work. So anyway, I have to kind of use this sometimes. So like I say, you can use it. Just be cautious about it, you know. It does work good. It is a useful tool, but like I say, use caution. Don't just, you know, drill in there until it freaking clicks or, you know, bogs the motor down. Not smart. So, or you can get these with clutch, adjustable clutch, and have the clutch setting on very light, and then you shouldn't have a problem. But um, you'll need quarter inch. It takes quarter inch bits, so you'll need a quarter inch bit like these. These are quarter inch Allen bits. Um, they came in a screwdriver uh, set I got. And see, this just pops right out the back, and then you have a whole bunch of different sizes. I mean, just a whole load of various um, sizes and stuff like that. So, um, it works very nice. And you can stick them all in there. You can take it off again. And, you know, you'd be like, okay, I, I don't need this anymore. Stick this. The only thing I don't like about these, if you were to notice, um, maybe it might have been hard to notice. But see how long this tip is? See how long that is? Now look at how long these tips are. They're very short. See how much more longer? I got like an extra probably inch and a half, two inches of actual length. So I really love how, how long these tips are because it really makes it easy to access the Allen screws. Because some of these kits have Allen screws way down deep in there um, and they're kind of a pain. So uh, yeah, but I really like that. It works really, really very nice. Now the other thing, if you're the kind of person that's like, I'm stuck in this hobby. I love it. I'm addicted to it. I love doing it. I get very much enjoyment out of it. Like me, I recommend, because you're going to need it sometime, a good soldering iron. So this is the soldering I currently soldering iron I currently have, use, and love. It works very, very, very well. These lights kind of don't work very good, but if you have a lamp, you know, you can put light on the subject or on the whatever you're trying to do, and it works very well. So this is a Weller Professional. It's 260 watts and then 200 watts. So that means it has a dual stage trigger. So right there is, you know, 200 watts. Right there is 260 watts. So it really works nice. So if you're soldering light stuff, you know, I would use a smaller soldering iron. But if you're soldering big stuff, for example, like 6.5 millimeter Castle Creations bullet connectors, you know, on their connectors, you need one like this to get the job done right. So that's all I'm saying. Make sure you have a good soldering iron. Do not get one from Harbor Freight. They suck. They're garbage. In my opinion, they're just trash because these will burn up because it's just it's just a garbage soldering iron. So just don't be a cheap ass and get something that's quality. That's what I would really strongly recommend because if you get cheap, sometimes you buy twice. So you gotta know you gotta pick and choose and know what to buy. So um, like I say, that comes with experience. You know, not everyone's you know knows everything about everything, but that's pretty much the tools I use most of, and there is a lot more, but um, that's mostly for the most preventative maintenance, most repairs. These are the tools that I am using to repair my vehicles and make them uh, mechanically sound and, you know, operate efficiently and effectively. So that way, every time I go out, I know that my vehicle is as maintained as it can be at the moment. And like I say, stuff happens. Not everything is perfect. So anyway... Thank you so much for watching. You know, I apologize if this is a bit of a long video, but I just want to be try to be as detailed as I possibly can. So um, I feel it's important to have a good set of tools or kind of know what tools to buy. So if you want my honest opinion, what you should buy first, 
um, the tools you should buy. The soldering iron can wait. Get the Allen set. I would recommend getting an Allen set, Neonwell's pliers, wire cutters, a toothbrush, some glass cleaner, and Loctite, and a 17 millimeter uh, ratchet wrench. You know, so that's what I would recommend. This other stuff you can get, you know, later, and a Phillips screwdriver because you will need that. So everyone should have that in their toolbox anyway. So it's a Phillips screwdriver, you know what I mean? So, anyway, these are the pile of stuff that I would recommend getting. Like, if you don't have anything and you want to have an RC set of tools and then maybe, like, working on your real automobile if you're old enough to, you know, have one or whatever, um, have a set of tools for that or whatever. Or you could use it for RC, too, if you like, whatever you want to do. I'm just letting you know what I do. I have a separate set for, you know, repairing my RC vehicles. And then when I do auto body work, repairs, you know, refinishing, I got my tools at work that I use to do that, you know. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it very much. You guys are amazing. I, you know, I appreciate any and everyone who's subscribed to the channel, who's left comments, dropped comments, dropped likes. Appreciate it. I love talking RC. All right. Thanks. Alex RC, freak out. Peace.